Hey everyone, today we're diving into the world of AI and discussing all the fluff about GPT-4 and OpenAI. We're going to learn what it's all about, how it differs from its predecessor GPT-3.5 and explore some exciting examples to see its capabilities and how you can use it today. So let's jump right in. OpenAI is an organization focused on advancing artificial intelligence research with the ultimate goal of ensuring that AI benefits all of humanity instead of taking over the world. Now GPT stands for Generative Pre-trained Transformer. It's a series of language models developed by OpenAI starting from GPT, then GPT-2, 3, 3.5 and now the latest GPT-4. These models are designed to understand and generate human-like text based on the context they are given, and they've been getting progressively more powerful with each new version. GPT-4 is the latest and most advanced language model built on the success of its predecessors. ChatGPT, in case you're wondering, is an AI-powered chatbot also developed by OpenAI that uses the GPT series, including the GPT 3.5 and now GPT 4. It's designed to engage in human-like conversations, providing detailed responses and generating text based on user input. It is able to maintain the context of previous messages, allowing for more natural and coherent conversations. Now that we have better understanding of OpenAI and the GPT series, let's explore GPT-4 in more detail and see how it differs from its predecessor, GPT-3.5. GPT-4 is significantly larger than GPT-3.5, meaning that it has more parameters which allows it to generate more accurate text. It also has been trained on an even larger dataset enabling a better understanding of context and a broader range of topics. On the other hand, due to its size, the response times might be a bit slower than with GPT-3.5. GPT-4 can take up to 25,000 words while GPT-3.5 can only take approximately 3,000 words as input. It's worth noting that GPT-4 comes in two variants, one that can take in up to 8,000 tokens which translates to about 6,000 words and is cheaper than the other version that can take up to 32,000 tokens which is around 24 to 25,000 words. GPT-4 can also accept images and explain what is illustrated in an image in a logical way. It can generate captions on images, can suggest recipes based on the picture of your food in your fridge, and so on. So as you can imagine, the possibilities of what can be done with GPT-4 is both exciting and terrifying at the same time. You can feed it an entire documentation page and ask it to generate a step-by-step -step guide and it will do a great job even though its learning cutoff date is in 2021. However, browsing feature is coming soon to ChatGPT, so there is that. You can also translate code between different languages, write your code in PHP and ask it to convert it to Python. You can generate documentation on the code you've written, allowing you to not write the documentation manually. You could also generate code from the documentation documentation, so maybe you want to write the documentation first on a high level on what the code is supposed to do and then have the AI generate the code for you. Now of course you should not just blindly copy paste any code generated by AI because a lot of times it generates either wrong code or a non-working code or even in worst case a code that is vulnerable to some attacks. So always review the code and make necessary adjustments. You can have it analyze your code and ask it to find vulnerabilities or bugs. You could also ask it to optimize your code or do some refactoring. And as you can imagine, possibilities are pretty much endless. With the incredible AI tools currently available and more to come in the future, we can revolutionize the way we interact with technology, create content, and solve complex problems. It feels like AI advancements are happening too quickly, GPT-4 was recently released and we already have some new things to look forward to like browsing abilities in ChatGPT, plugins that integrate within the ChatGPT, and be able to create custom plugins. Then there are also file uploads, image recognition, and so on. 
Some are very excited, happy, feel empowered, but some are also terrified of it, rightfully so. Regardless of how you feel, the future of AI is here and OpenAI seems to be leading the charge. So adopt and use it to your advantage. Thanks for watching folks, if you enjoyed it, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more awesome content. Don't forget to leave your thoughts and questions about GPT-4 and AI in general in the comments below. Until next time, happy coding.